So, currently cleaning the car because uh, she got absolutely trashed yesterday from me driving in the rain and all the brake dust and whatnot. But in this video, we're gonna just go over the aftermath of what happened after the track day and um, just what I need to do better, like what I, just kinda like a review of the whole day, you know? So, when it came to the brakes, the brakes, they did well. I will say, they, they did great. Um, but they got hot fairly quickly. Um, and I definitely went through those brake pads a little bit where the brakes are a lot softer now. <laughs> okay, I haven't driven the car at all today. But yesterday, even like five hours after of just constant cruising on the way home, the brakes were still like very spongy. So I think I'm gonna have to get better brake pads for sure in the future. Um, and the brake dust was just ridiculous, but I don't really care about that. Brake dust, that means nothing, but it was pretty gross afterwards. If there was one thing that I was really kind of struggling with, it was keeping my hands nine and three. If you guys watch that video, you'll see how like I feed the wheel. It was just really easy, like it's natural for me, but you're not supposed to do that, okay? It was working for me, but I have to learn not to do that, because it's supposed to be either 9-3 or 10-2, and, and I kind of was breaking those rules. This didn't get damaged on track. I just should have done this like a long time ago. Usually I keep up with this every like couple weeks, but I've been kind of slacking lately. Always keep your inner floor fins straight, all right? You get an extra five horsepower each fin. Guys, we got a package. We got a package, all right? Uh, one of my uh, followers on Instagram, he tracks his car. He has a couple cars. And uh, he sent me uh, some stuff in here for free because he wanted to donate to my build. So, John, you're awesome. Thank you for the package. We're going to get this open and see what is inside. Hey guys, so we got this. This is the main thing he wanted to give me. This is the shift boot delete plate. But there's an issue. I don't have a short shifter, and it just barely won't work. Like, it, the, the shifter hits this. Oh, so I could make this bigger, but I'm not, I don't want to mess with this. This is actually really nice. What I'm just going to do is eventually I'm going to get a short shifter. This kind of gives me more incentive to get one. Uh, eventually I'm going to get a short shifter, and that way I can actually use this because this is really nice. Plus, a lot, you know, the big things won't be falling in my freaking console when I can't get to them. He did give me an X-Gen Alliance sticker, which is freaking sweet because it uh, looks nice. And also, he is the founder of X-Gen Alliance, so I put that on there. A 27-1 sticker. I don't have any of their parts. Maybe I can change that. And some steering wheel trim, which I already have this, though. Yeah, I already, I already got the steering wheel trim. But anyway, John, you are the best, bro. Thank you for this. I'm going to have to figure out how to make this work. I mean, I'm going to have to just buy a short shifter. It won't fit. It won't. It, it will hit. It will hit. Watch. You put this right here. And then just, <laughs> it's not going to work, unfortunately, which freaking stinks because I really like it. It's just, nope. Dang it. Oh, he also gave me this, which is freaking sweet. Uh, I could use this. I could use this. I got to figure out where are my keys at? Oh, they're over here. You freaking jacknut. Yeah, I could use that. That does look a lot nicer. Hmm. Back at it again with the Walmart run. Freaking toilet paper, Pop Tarts, detailer, windshield wipers. And motor oil, dude. Look at that. Gotta keep it interesting, guys. Every time I'm here.
Y'all, we're going to ProFab Performance, all right? This is uh, our friend Don, who races, he drag races, and he has his own shop where he works on, you know, drag cars and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna go visit him in the Honda, guys, in the Honda. All right, he kind of talks crap about my car, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go visit him in the Honda. Uh, we've known each other for, wow, at least 10 years, I would say. Maybe a little over 10 years. Uh, and I've seen him race and stuff, really cool, it's awesome. So we're gonna, we're gonna go visit a shop, see how he's doing, bother him with the Honda, you know, make him wanna buy a Honda, and it's gonna be a good day. Today's Tuesday, my vacation ends on, when, tomorrow's my last day of vacation, I have nine days off, and uh, just enjoying what I can, guys. It's part of life. Oh yeah, guys, we've made it. There are race cars in there. Uh, that's a really steep incline. I'm not trying to mess up my car. Oh, Don's gonna love me pulling up here. Oh yeah, they got full on race cars here, dude. Let's go. I don't know where to park. Maybe right here. I think right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got imports here. It's a running joke with Don that he does not like, like Hondas or imports, but he's got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> he can't escape. They're about to do a dyno pull over here. Guys, I just went to O'Reilly's. Got two things of valve caps, blue and black. I think this is, is this black? Yeah, it's black. I don't know which one I want to go with. I think I'm gonna go with blue, because I freaking forgot mine, or I lost half of mine. So, I'm gonna try the blue first. I think the blue's gonna look good. Dang, guys, look how good that looks. Oh, bro. That is much freaking better, dude. Check that out. More horsepower. All right, we got a little distracted in the video. Right, I'm sorry, a little distracted. But in general, the car did absolutely amazing. Okay, so besides the fender getting crunched up, and I'll show you what happened. The fender got a little crunched up there. Yeah, so what happened was the door, it got caught because this kind of flexes in and out now, if you can see that. Well, it got, it got pushed in, and when the instructor got in the car, the door pinched it and just bent it all up. So that's unfortunately one of the damages that we uh, ended up having over the course of the track day but i mean that's the only thing i got damaged and if that's the case we did really good that wasn't even because i hit something that was just because of the freaking door i gotta find something or find some way to keep this pushed out that way this because sometimes i have to keep pulling this out that way the door won't get caught on it that's just because since i cut the fender the support's gone so you know race car things but besides that guys i mean she did great so we need to get new brake pads my brake <laughs> my brakes are very soft um and of course i mean i drove really hard on track multiple uh sessions uh so you know the car freaking got got hot the brakes got hot definitely faded the brakes a little bit but overall car did great no real damage from the track at all and we're just gonna have to improve the braking uh other than that though the car did freaking absolutely amazing and i'm very proud of her can't complain guys can't complain so we also need a short shifter we don't need a short shifter i don't i don't need one but so the plate will fit and that way i can shift faster and plus it's just more fun to drive we need a short shifter all right the tires have a lot of life to them okay the tires are pretty much brand freaking new still so i mean these tires have a lot of life to them i could probably hit another track day with these nothing but positive things to say guys besides you know i guess working on myself as a driver the car's freaking dialed in i think the next time i go i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the wing to be just a little more aggressive we're at a, a zero degree aoa which does produce some downforce but not a lot I think going to a five will help kind of keep the end a little more planted because when I was exiting, I think it was turn 10, the last turn before the straight, the rear end was like on the limit sometimes, you know, and I don't want to have the rear end come out on me. Um, so I think a little more, a little more uh, downforce in the rear and she is freaking good to go. But for the first track day, we were freaking killing it. Absolutely killing it. And just some little tweaks, like I said, just the brakes. That's all. Just little things. Freaking, we're now rocking the blue valve caps, which honestly, they look really good. I didn't know if I'd like them, but I like them a lot. Um, helps kind of tie all the blue together. Although the blue brake calipers are freaking covered from all the brake dust and stuff. But it, it does tie in with the Princess Luna lettering in the front. So it works quite well. Um, I'm going to eventually invest in some side skirts for the car. 
one that it'll look a lot better but not even just that just you know to kind of to help some of the air not leak under the car um we still got some things to also fix like underneath the car it's still wide open because i my scrape pan isn't even there anymore and that does create drag and lift so i'm gonna get that fixed before my next track day adjust the wing we'll come out even stronger next time with some better brakes and we're gonna full send it once again and hopefully get some actual lap times. I did have a transponder and I was supposed to get lap times, but it lost connection because it was in my glove box. So that was a waste, but they did refund me the money. So that's great. But other than that, guys, that's all for this video. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, trial and error, you know, car did great. Just one little thing I got damaged, whatever, it happens, guys. When you cut up your car, it's not gonna go well all the time. So worth it though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash destroy the red button hit it smash it face butt it i don't care what you do hit the button we need a million subs by tomorrow so just do it and as always guys luna and i will see you in the next video